Creating app designs with AI keeps getting more impressive each day, and tools like Cursor and Cloud Code have made building your dream app more accessible than ever. However, while the process has become easier, it's still far from simple. Today, I'm excited to reveal something extraordinary, a method for generating apps with flawless UI UX while creating endless variations of your designs. The UI workflow I'm sharing today leverages Cloud Code's revolutionary sub-agents feature, which I've covered extensively in a dedicated video you'll find linked below. These sub-agents are essentially specialized MD files that I'll be making available for your projects. The fundamental principle of this complete UI workflow is task delegation, you need to assign specific responsibilities to individual agents. Let me walk you through how this system operates, starting with the foundation building your app structure and user experience. This is where Cloud Code's sub-agents truly excel in real-world applications. I've developed a mobile UX engineer that transforms your concepts into tangible solutions. When I fed it the idea for a university mobile app along with basic requirements, I treated the prompt like a product requirements document just pure requirements without technical specifications or structural details. Students needed access to attendance records, schedule viewing, grade checking, and similar functionality. Once submitted, Cloud Code activates the mobile UX engineer, and here's where things get fascinating. Previously, Cloud Code operated with a 200,000 context limit per conversation, but sub agents have changed this limitation entirely. Each agent that Cloud Code launches operates with its own dedicated context window, and you can monitor the token consumption for each agent in their individual subsessions. This means every agent receives a complete 200k context window, resulting in reduced hallucination and significantly improved performance. The system proceeded to implement my university student mobile app, and the results were remarkable. The generated university portal features intentionally simple design without colors, and this is completely deliberate since coloring becomes a separate workflow step. I've specifically configured the mobile UX engineer to concentrate exclusively on layout and user experience based on provided requirements. What's truly impressive is the exceptional user experience this app delivers. If I had simply requested a university app without breaking the process into stages, I might have received something visually appealing, but the UX wouldn't have been nearly as robust. By separating these concerns and addressing them individually, the user experience becomes significantly more intuitive and well-structured. Behind the scenes, I've established behavioral guidelines for the system to first comprehend the reasoning behind requirements, then systematically deconstruct the PRD. The 200k context limit per agent proves invaluable here because it enables comprehensive analysis of user needs before beginning construction. After breaking down and understanding requirements, it builds the mobile interface. I primarily request HTML implementations for excellent reasons. Editing HTML is remarkably straightforward. If I need minor modifications, I can easily request them. Using alternative frameworks would consume unnecessary tokens and computational power without providing benefits. HTML enables effortless future modifications, and I've incorporated specific guidelines for creating UX that users genuinely appreciate and find intuitive. The description component plays a crucial role here, informing the system which agent to use for specific tasks. As demonstrated, we have two primary agents, the UX engineer and the UI implementer. The system determines which to choose based on these descriptions, and more detailed descriptions yield superior implementations. To showcase this system's versatility, I also requested additional designs an e-commerce mobile app, cycle rental app, and health tracking application. Now we have specialized agents for both e-commerce and health tracking apps, each optimized for their specific use cases. The Cycle Rental app I requested maintains basic UI at this stage, which is intentional. What matters most is the UXE, the underlying application structure it created. In my opinion, it absolutely excelled in terms of user interaction design. The flow feels intuitive and user-friendly, with everything properly organized in ways that make sense for end users. The second phase involves using the UI implementer. After implementing our UX, examining the mobile UI implementer reveals the description section. This agent takes HTML file references and requires a color scheme to apply to that structure, which you specify in the prompt. In the design field section, you can implement or edit this yourself 
I, I've set it to minimal, but you can choose 3D or any specific design style. You can also add image links by providing the full path, and Claude will analyze those images. Below this are guidelines for creating effective mobile UI. While UI generation is the second step, another crucial phase is generating multiple UI variations. When I attempted providing two color schemes, something interesting occurred. It initially started only one agent, and despite trying different prompts, it responded to just one prompt while incorrectly configuring two agents. Through testing, I discovered that proper implementation requires specific prompt structure. Starting with, can you fire up two UI agents works consistently. The key insight is explicitly stating which agents to activate and how many. Without this specificity, the system defaults to a single agent. So, I requested two UI implement agents with different color schemes, and this time the system properly executed the command. It successfully used two agents with distinct color schemes, with the workflow having agents read and analyze structure, then implement using both mobile agents while applying both themes simultaneously. The first theme is intentionally minimal with limited color, aligning perfectly with a university portal app's professional requirements. Everything remains functional, though there's slight overlapping in some areas we can refine later. Interestingly, the second preview turned out notably better, likely due to how the color scheme interacts with the layout. While structure differs slightly from the first, the overall layout remains consistent, and what really stands out is how well the color palette implementation works. HTML designs may appear basic initially, but they transform beautifully when converted into your final app format. This demonstrates the power of using multiple agents effectively. The process is straightforward reference them by name, specify quantity, and provide different parameters. In this case, I provided different color schemes, but you could easily specify different styles instead minimalist, 3D, Notion-inspired, or similar approaches. Each variation requires separate agent setup. What makes this powerful is that these agents maintain context for creating quality UIs with mobile best practices, consistently producing superior results. After comparing both versions with different color palettes, one outcome was clearly superior, so I'll proceed with that version for next steps. One final note about emoji usage, instead of proper icons, iOS handles icons differently, and direct conversion doesn't translate well from my experience. That's why I maintain emojis at this stage, while it looks unconventional in HTML preview, we can seamlessly update them once working in the iOS app environment. This is the HTML to iOS converter file. I also requested it to include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript separately, which is excellent practice. As you can see, all files have been divided into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, making the structure much cleaner. The HTML file that's usually generated can be a thousand or more lines long, making it difficult to isolate and edit elements individually. Dividing them is really good practice. I asked it to create a conversion guide, providing an example of the HTML type I'd be giving it and explaining that I needed it converted into an iOS app using SwiftUI. It needed to use the Context7 MCP because Context7 MCP provides excellent documentation, working almost like RAG for documentation. It can automatically fetch specific documentation needed and operates really fast, only providing the most accurate and useful context. As you can see, we received SwiftUI context from it. Then it gathered the most accurate information required and filled everything out. I prompted it to improve the output two or three times and it complied. Finally, we had our conversion file, which I'll also be sharing. Check the description for that. This conversion file is what we'll use for the conversion. As Claude generated the agent, I put this into the agent file instead of Claude generated content. With everything in place, you can see that I returned and asked Claude code to convert the second design into an iOS app. It proceeded, used the HTML converter agent, and completed the conversion. This is what the system implemented. Let me fire up the simulator so you can see the results. As you can see, we have the app in its current state. The emojis still need adjustment, but that's a simple fix words. We just need to tell Claude to use proper emojis and it will handle that immediately. What's really nice is that the iOS implementation looks quite polished, and you'll notice the bottom bar is particularly clean because it's been properly integrated. The conversion process implemented all correct icons, and that overlapping issue we had before has been completely resolved. Everything looks clean now, though I would still refine those emojis. Overall, I think the result is genuinely impressive, especially considering this is just a basic implementation. 
The exciting part is that when you create quality UI variations and take time to enhance the cursor file and agent file in mobile UI implementation with additional context about your wants, your app will look even better than this. What I've demonstrated here is straightforward and accessible. Once I share these files with you, you'll be able to customize that section with as much detail as desired. That level of detailed description will give your app its unique character and make it stand out. I'm also including links to related videos below, so feel free to check those out if you're interested in exploring more content like this. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by watching the entire video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.